Hi to everyone, I am Chandrika from BLLB. Expected to the principal Dr. Kusma Kumar Madam, the principal of Telangana Social Residential Law College and this talk given by Prabhakar sir. The topic for today is rules in Kankal. Now I have a one doubt, what is Kankal? Kankal, Kankal in grammar is the agreement between subject and verb or the agreement between verb or predicate or other elements in the sentence. Okay, concrete means agreement. Now, how many agreements are in this concrete? There are 24 agreements in this concrete. There are 24 rules in this concrete. We discuss some rules in this video. Rule number one is when subject is singular in this sentence, the verb should always singular. For example, we all are see Tom and Jerry Cartoon Network, right? I can say one example from this Cartoon Network. The cat chases the rat. The cat chases the rat. The cat is singular. Chase is the verb is a singular. Now, when subject is plural, the verb should be plural. For example, the cats chase the rat. The cats chase the rat. The cats plural subject chase plural verb. Now move to the another rule, that is rule number 2, the agreement between subject and object. When subject is someone or somebody, in the sentence, the object must be in a singular one, not a plural one. For example, everybody knows him. We can we all are see the buckle shop, right? Who is here in this buckle shop? Pankalan. Everybody knows him. Everybody knows Pan Kalyan. Am I right? Yes. Move to the another rule that is mandative subjective concord. When prayer, suggestions, condition recommendation, wish, resolutions, demand. In this, used in this sentence, the verb should be plural in form. For example, I pray the God, help me on my upcoming examinations because of our fear about examinations.